I feel like we've been having this conversation since like 2016, but now you're seeing it more and more advanced analytics, yards to go, shit like that, scenarios, go for two and all that. The conversation about going for two, going for it on fourth down, the analytics say no, the analytics say yes. I want to talk about this because I feel like it's taken over the NFL. I mean, it's been... The good teams have been doing it for a while now. Doug Peterson was doing this with the Eagles. Remember Black Jack Del Rio with the Raiders when he first got there, too? First of all, where are you on the spectrum? I think it's situational. Which is what that I would be more. Be. I would be more aggressive than, in, than usual, but I do think everything is situational mm-hmm. and a case-by-case basis. I, I just wanted to say I do think this kind of got brought back into the light because of Brandon Staley going for it on fourth down four times against the Chiefs and not getting it any of them? I think they went for it five times on fourth. And, and got once. Fourth and to goal such scenarios, and I think they got it twice. Yeah. I would be aggressive. I would also take the situation into consideration. Is my, is my left tackle – was my left tackle just injured on the last drive? Are my, you know, is my tight end healthy? Is is the other team's corner injured? You know, like, how's the game going? What, what you know, t- t- what has happened so far in the game? Have I been killing them on sh- down and distance? Uh, you know, running to the left with my running back. Like, have I been killing them on 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 the tight end out? You know, like, I there's so much information that 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 needs to be considered. I do think there has been a shift in aggressiveness in general, which is great. And then I think it should be a case by case basis. That's kind of how I would approach it. Yeah, because there's also like a feel, right? Yeah, like right now, I'm feeling like, you know, Joe Burrow is 30 of 32 for 400 yards, and they and Chase has over 200. Like they can't stop that. Maybe the analytics tell me I shouldn't go for it on fourth and six at the 50. Yeah. But right now I'm feeling it. The crowd is behind it. We're on this run. Burrow's playing well. We're lining up. Like, yeah, go for that. Also, I get that. And also, the t- I, if I had to guess, the scenario that you're in over the course of a season has not been taken into consideration as well. I like this. Like, where are you in the year? You know, like, do I need this win? Are you a shitbag team and you're just, you know, are you are you the Lions? Mm. You know, maybe you should be a little bit more aggressive. Who cares, right? Are you, you know, are you the Packers who, you know, are probably going to end up with the best record in the NFC? Maybe being conservative is probably the right thing to do. You know what I mean? You don't want to lose an unnecessary game here when all things considered. You're probably gonna, you know, handle your business. So I think that plays into consideration as well. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the analytics don't tell me that my quarterback's Justin Herbert or yeah. Patrick Mahomes or Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, right? Like if if the analytics told me that Daniel Jones is my quarterback, I'll probably say, you know, maybe we should follow the analytics here and punt, <laughs> right? Step by step basis. Yeah, I think all scenarios are different. What well, you said too. What if, what if they're down three corners? What if in that game they're down? What if flip side? Who's your opponent? Who's your opponent? And now you're looking at it like, yo, our defense has been able to shut out the Bucks because they're down Godwin. They're down Evans. They're down Fournette. Let's hone in on Gronk because that's his boy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Scotty Miller, Tyler Johnson, go nuts. Congrats. You beat us. You beat us. Yeah. That's another factor too. Where you are on the field, I get that. I I think the fourth down conversation and the going for two conversation is different. Yes. Would you agree? Yeah. Although I would I could make the argument that you're taking the same things into consideration though. Although they're different decisions, you are taking the same thing into consideration, I think. And the, the same idea of has my offensive line been dominant today is is their middle line but did their middle linebacker just, you know, is is injured now is you know, is my right tackle healthy and playing well, or is he getting killed by their their end every down? Like, you know, what plays do we have to go to right now? You know, do we have a, a go to call right now that we mm. feel good about? Mm-hmm. Those are, you know, those are the things. I I will say, like, I think you mentioned it. 
going for two has been built into kind of these 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 uh these point spreads now. Oh yeah. Yeah, like you know now you need you may need you know that eight and a half now instead of the seven and a yeah, half so or whatever the back, case is. Back maybe I don't know. Not even too far, man. When when they switched the PAT from being a twenty two yard field goal attempt to now a thirty three yard field goal attempt, still worth one point. The logic has become, all right, more kickers are missing PATs than ever before. Because the PAT used to be a legitimate practice kick. Because the life of a kicker blows, bro. You just you are out off to the side. You're not in offensive or defensive meetings. You're out on the sideline. You're kicking into a net. You don't have any trajectory of the ball. You're just literally kicking it from me to you into a net. I don't get to see it clear the uprights. I don't get to. So when I used to kick, right, Adam Tarnowski, my uh, football coach, shouts to him. He used to kick at the University of Buffalo. Was on a bunch of, you know, he's made a he's made a six figure salary just going to practice squads. Wow. For about a decade at the time, he used to tell me like, when you're looking at the uprights, look past the uprights. If there's someone in the stands, pinpoint the P on Impy in the gray sweater. Wow. Look. Try to hit the football on that P. Like, look past the uprights. Because if you could get close to that P, chances are You're in the up. we're splitting those yeah. uprights right down Steinway Street. You heard? So, when I would kick PATs, I'd come out and bang, I could hit it through and I could see. Like, I-